What's really, really cool about modal improvising and chords, you can you can manipulate the voice scenes. Going to you know that's why you're learning different ways to voice it, so you can experiment with um, layers of sounds. It's all still part of Dorian harmony, but when you restructure these chords, um, it's really really cool. Okay, that's right. Now let's mix those together. So check it out. If I'm on a G. This is based off of the 7. You can think of it that way. And then F to a C major. 1 to 5. You can think about that relationship. Let's mix those two chords back and forth. <laughs> so check it out. If I know that that I can mess around with the F and the C chord shape over this B flat, which is over a G, right? So, you know, or I could just be doing this. You know, you can also do root too. Then I can mess around with that shape in the right hand over the top and kind of reshape it and arpeggiate and just do some neat kind of color stuff. Something like, uh, so here's an F chord and then Just kind of creating patterns, right? Uh, the it it just allows you to think about improvising in, in chords versus just um, you know, like improvising vertically is what that means.